The big day has arrived. I can finally smurf out the Smurfizer. Holy Smurf, what are those? They look like they've been contaminated, too. A blast from the Smurfizer should do the trick. You look like you should be called Vile Balls. Hello there, Vile Balls. Well, smurf me down. Those must be the materials that Handy was talking about. If I collect enough of them, he'll be able to enhance the Smurfizer. I'm on my way. I'll smurf your little bridge problem. Okay, the Smurfizer can heal the contamination, but maybe it has other powers too. Let's give that flower a little smurf. Thanks, Hefty. That was some magic trick. Oh, it wasn't magic. That was Handy's latest invention. I can use it to smurf the contamination. Looks like you can also use it to clear a path. Yeah, pretty smurfy, huh? Anything's possible with the Smurfizer. Okay, gotta go. I'll go see if there are any more Smurfs to save at the dam. must be one of those vile critters I heard about. Hmm, let's see here. It has a mushroom head. Maybe I can jump on it, like the other mushrooms. Here we go. Time to show them what I'm smurfed of. Hey, that thing isn't looking too good. Maybe I should heal it. Looks like a contaminated heart. I'll heal it right away. Hefty, can you smurf me? This is your conscience, Hefty. You must. Quit smurfing around, Jokey. Come on, give me that. Give me that smurfy talkie. 
Hello? This is Papa Smurf. Can you hear me, Hefty? Papa Smurf? Is that you? I can hear you, but where are you? Inside the Smurf visor. Wait, let me explain. Andy forgot to smurf you about the Smurfy Talkie. It's a device that enables long distance communication. This way we can stay in contact and you can smurf information to us. Sorry about startling you. You know Jokey. He wanted to smurf a little joke on you. That's all right, Papa Smurf. I'll smurf him a little lesson when I get back. Say I'm Smurf to see so many vile critters, but I'll be happy to heal them using the Smurfizer.
There's nothing like a little jump to smurf that I'm the best at bouncing. Hey guys, how's it going? Ah, oh, hefty. You smurfed here just in time. We can't smurf it anymore. What's the matter? Well, we were smurfing on the dam in peace when suddenly a seed fell from the sky. Whoosh! Into the ground. Bam! And it started growing. Whoosh! Then a strange plant suddenly sprouted. Pop! And it smurfed lazy, and he was sleeping nearby. Shabam! Pow! Blop! Weave! Enough with the sound effects. What happened next? Well, we tried to swerve back to the village, lickety split. But we couldn't because of the contamination. Well, luckily, you came to save us, Hefty. Yeah, it's a good job you can decontaminate the area with the Smurfizer. Okay, I'm gonna call Papa Smurf with the Smurfy Talkie. He'll come Smurf you up with a stork and take you back to the village. In the meantime, I'll go save Lazy. That must be the weird plant those Smurfs were talking about. I'd better Smurf it right away. Hello? Papa Smurf? I found the Smurfs at the dam. Smurf the stork to come pick them up. Lazy is still missing, but I'm gonna go get him back. It seems that he's trapped inside a strange plant that Smurfed down from the sky. It Smurfed down from the sky? Through the clouds? That isn't a good sign. Uh, actually, it was a seed that smurfed down from the sky. I don't have time to explain. Very well. You can smurf me all about it when you get back. However, I would like you to bring me a sample of that plant so that I can study it. No problem, Papa Smurf. See you later.
Bones can smurf you at any moment. They don't scare me. I'll show them what this smurf can do. All this excitement is making Don't fall asleep just yet. The fun is just beginning. <laughs> I'm the heftiest smurf of all, if I do say so myself. need to thank me, Lazy. That's what I'm here for. I haven't a smurf how this happened. I was working on the dam, when suddenly, I felt like smurfing a little nap. I lay down underneath the tree, and when I woke up, I was trapped inside that horrible plant. And all of my friends had disappeared. I know. They told me all about it. A seed fell down from the sky and smurfed that mysterious plant. The others ran away, but you got captured while you were sleeping. In any case, I'm awake. <laughs> now, let's go back to the village. Quick, oh, I can't wait to get back to my bed to smurf a well-deserved nap. I'm going to smurf a piece of this plant to Papa Smurf so he can study it. I hope you'll find a way to get rid of it once and for all. So, Hefty returned with the sample in hand. Then Papa Smurf spoke up so they might understand. This plant, my little Smurfs, is called the Vile Leaf. It spits out mutant seeds that are sure to cause grief. From these seeds of evil, vile traps quickly will sprout. They will grow all around, they will spread all about. If you spot a vile trap, you had better beware, for they have but one goal, finding things to ensnare. The Smurfs asked a question. They didn't have a clue. Please tell us, Papa Smurf, what is it we must do? To destroy the vile leaf, you must find and find fast. Three rare ingredients, though it's no simple task. So, the list of ingredients to make an antidote for the vile leaf, it's very simple. I, I just need to remember what Papa Smurf told me. Uh, ah, yes, I, I wrote it down here. There, yeah, that's it. There is Aqua Magnifica, crystals coloured pink, and silver hellebores for their perfume that stinks. Papa Smurf is aware there is danger in store. Dark infested forests, lakes to cross, and much more. The Smurfs started talking, all sounding quite distressed. Who is crazy enough to set off on this quest? Amidst their bickering, only one hand was shown. Brainy volunteered to go there on his own. 
Aqua Magnifica, he said. I'll get it, right? From deep in the forest, close to Wild Smurf's campsite. So I don't have a map, a chart, or a timetable? This seems so well-organized, right? I'll go see Papa Smurf so he can tell me more about this mission. <laughs> <laughs> 